This meeting of cashew farmers associations and cooperating partners working with the lift cashew project in the country brought together producers of raw cashew nut and buyers to inform buyers about available volumes of cashew raw nut in the country and facilitate commercial contracting with associations and cooperatives. And Sumana Sise is a country rep and the m &E officer at the Shelter for Life International implementing the LIFT Cashew project. The project is financed by United States Department of Agriculture, USDA. The LIFT Cashew program aims to develop and improve the Cashew value chain linkage necessary to support an integrated regional trade network in Senegal, the Gambia, and Bissau. Moving forward to enhance the production processing and trade of casus in local and international markets. The program is implemented through four program components, and the first component of the program is, is to improve uh, casu trade infrastructure. The Shelter for Life International Project also provides assistance and consultation to associations and CMAs for the construction and rehabilitation and management of cashew storage units and post handling in Senegal, Gambia, and Guinea-Bissau. The other component is access to financial services through lending and agricultural development. In the Gambia, about five cashew cooperatives are registered with the Shelter for Life International Project. We have Kia West Cashew Farmers Cooperative Association. The location of this cooperative association is in Kenaba. Kia West Lower River Region. They have a membership of uh, 615 participants. Area of hectares under casu production is 1,000 hectares. Estimated production for 2023 season is estimated at 250 metric tons. And the north count from this area is 175 to 180. And they also has an outturn value of 53 pounds. B2B meeting or event is an annual uh, event that we organize in this country to bring together casu farmers, uh, processors and traders uh, to discuss and develop business agreements in casu marketing. So this year we invited uh, uh, stakeholders from government institutions uh, farmers associations, traders and processors to come together and discuss possibility of signing uh, RCN sale contract agreement so that they can do business uh, for this season. For the Gambia Investment and Export Promotion Agency and the Gambia Chamber of Commerce and Industry representing the private sector in this B2B meeting, it was a pleasure to be associated with the event. If you look at our export compared to our import, it's very low. So it's like we are, having, we are, we are, we are currently having a, a minus trade balance when, 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 when it comes to a, our, 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 sorry, our export. We are, we are currently having a negative trade balance. So with this, with this kind of meetings, this will guide, uh, the, let's say, the casual farmers. The casual farmers, the processors. Our presence is of relevance because oh, since uh, Gambia as a country deem it necessary in promoting agriculture. So cashew for one, which is part of agriculture, I think it's necessary for it to be promoted. And then uh, at the chamber level, agriculture is, uh, is an angle that uh, we don't uh, play with. Cashew has the potential to contribute to the development of the country and for the fact that the Gambia has the best raw cashew nut this meeting of producers, buyers, and exporters to promote cash value chain couldn't be more necessary. Louis Mendy, GRTS.